<laughs> Meanwhile, eight high-profile House Republicans announcing plans to join the president's defense team. Among them, Texas Congressman John Ratcliffe. He joins us now as our guest this morning. Congressman, good morning to you, and thank you for being morning, here. Smitty. So what exactly will you do in this new role? Well, it was announced last night, uh, Smitty, but uh, really for the last few weeks, I've been working with the White House counsel, uh, helping them prepare the legal briefs that are being submitted in the trial and uh, preparing the oral, oral arguments that will be presented later this week. Um, I was one of a few members that was involved in both, uh, both phases of the impeachment inquiry before the House Intelligence Committee and the House Judiciary Committee. There's a lot of information there, so um, I'm going to continue to be as much of a resource uh, for the president's lawyers uh, as I can be over this uh, trial. To be, to be clear, though, you won't have any role in speaking on the Senate floor. That hasn't been finally determined yet. I think that's currently the plan. Um, currently the plan you never not to? Currently the plan not to, um, but you never know what's going to happen during a trial. Part of the reason that we are there is to hold accountable uh, some of the House managers, in particular the lead House manager, uh, Adam Schiff, um, and make sure that the evidence is presented um, the way it occurred in the House. Um, if that doesn't happen, there may be a change in the trial structure. But, of course, Congressman, that's why there's a debate about witnesses, because d Democrats are making the case that there was information presented after the vote happened in the House on the articles of impeachment. What's going to happen with, with that debate ultimately, and what is your defense to not have witnesses called? Well, I don't think there are going to be any witnesses called. There isn't a witness that can be called that can fix this process. There isn't a witness on either side that you can call that can inject um, fairness and due process into a process that had none. Um, I think one of the things that your listeners uh, are going to hear this week is a comparison of what happened, the disparity in the way that President Clinton and President Nixon were treated during their impeachment inquiries as opposed to President Trump. The Nixon and Clinton lawyers were allowed to participate every single day. Uh, from the very beginning to the very end, they were allowed to review evidence, to suggest evidence, to call witnesses, and to cross-examine witnesses. By comparison, President Trump, during a 78-day impeachment inquiry, his lawyers were forbidden, forbidden from participating for the first 71 of a 78-day process. Not allowed to call witnesses, cross-examine witnesses, be there for the presentation or review of evidence. Um, that's a lack of due process and fairness that I think all senators, Republican and Democrat, are going to be surprised to learn. And I think as a result of that, they're not going to want to hear any witnesses because the Senate isn't going to be able to fix what happened in the House. I want to throw up on the screen the tweet you put out last night after it was announced that you would now be a new member of the president's de uh, defense team. You said, I took the oath to defend the Constitution. This impeachment is an assault on due process. It's an assault on the separation of powers. It's unconstitutional. I'm grateful for the opportunity to make that clear to every American during the Senate trial. So for your part, you're going to be controlling the messaging. You're going to be controlling the defense of this team. How do you lay out your strategy? And, and we only know what we know. What are going to be the surprises as we watch this all begin this afternoon? Well, I think the, the uh, uh, Senate defense team, as they prepare this and present this, are going to point out the fact that, again, the irony of the uh, House Democrats wanting to impeach a president for obstructing House Democrats in a 78-day process where they forbid him from participating for the first 71 days. People are going to find it ironic that the uh, House Democrats are wanting to impeach for obstruction of Congress, a term that the founders referred to as the separation of powers. They can't make constitutional arguments because they don't have any. This impeachment fails. It fails factually, it fails legally, it fails constitutionally. Um, this is going to be like uh, killing a fly with a sledgehammer. Uh, the House Democrats had a weak case, even on a slanted playing field where they okay. made the rules, changed the rules, and broke the rules to their advantage. On a level playing field, it's going to get ugly. I expect a short trial, no witnesses, an early acquittal for President Trump. The minority leader in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, took to a microphone last night to slam those rules laid out by Mitch McConnell. Here's the senator. Senator McConnell's resolution is a national disgrace. He's saying that he doesn't want to hear any of the existing evidence and he doesn't want any new evidence. A trial where there's no evidence, no existing record, and no new evidence, no witnesses, no documents, 
That isn't a trial at all. It's a cover-up. As a former prosecutor and now new member of the president's defense team, how do you counter that, Congressman? Well, actually, I agree with Chuck Schumer that um, there can't be a fair trial and that there was a cover-up, but not for the reasons that he thinks. The cover-up happened when um, Adam Schiff, who everyone knows um, was not truthful about his contact with the whistleblower, um, what they don't know is that the whistleblower was not truthful under oath about his contacts with Congressman Schiff. And there is a transcript that reflects that. It's the Inspector General's transcript. It's the only one out of 18 transcripts that hasn't been released by Congressman Schiff. So there is a cover up there, and, and, and that is what prevents a fair trial here, is the person in charge of this investigation was judge, jury, prosecutor. These are Adam Schiff's facts, and you can't wave a magic wand and inject fairness into a process that a conflicted witness uh, controlled from beginning to end. I think every senator, Republican and Democrat, is going to come to that realization, and that I think early on there's going to be a motion to acquit President Trump, and I think that's going to be uh, supported on a bipartisan basis. Got it. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, to kick off our program this morning. We appreciate your time, Colin.